Do you prefer tabs or spaces? <laughs> tabs. Tabs. Why is that? Is there a reason for it, or is it just his history? Or... Less typing. Tabs or spaces? Spaces. Why is that? Then? I have no good reasoning for it, so... No good reasoning, okay, yeah. fair enough. Uh, I'd, I'd be a tab person, personally, yeah. But then you get some uh, editors that convert tabs to spaces, so it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, you get your tabs, man. So, okay, but now, to be fair... <laughs> so, in... People say, people answer, whatever the answer is, they answer it with, like, as if, like, as if there's ever a question. <laughs> What's yeah. the deal with this contention? Okay, so practically speaking, these days, if your text editor is good, which like they almost all are, it's fine. The system will see whatever's in there and you can convert between them losslessly and it's actually not an issue at all. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely tabs, yeah. Tabs? Yeah. Okay, have you got a reason why or is it just that that's what you prefer? Yes, or? perfect. I mean, if you go for spaces, you need to go one, two, three to get the same thing, right? Okay. So, <laughs> there's no way I will use spaces for, for programming. I think tabs is the way to go because tabs semantically mean indentation. Like, that's what tabs are for as a character. And it also gives you the freedom to decide how you, if you like to view your code with four or three or two or whatever, you can set your like tab stop in your editor and it's fine. But yeah, like I say these days, if you, if you feel like doing that, you can do that in your editor even if it's done with spaces. So it kind of doesn't really matter anymore. But I feel like, oh, and also file sizes, right? If you indent with tabs, your files are smaller. Such a question. Hello, welcome back. Rebecca again. Uh, Spaces or tabs? Uh, definitely tabs. Why though? I want to know why. There's literally no reason other than it makes more sense to have a single character to me. Okay. A single character. Okay, but what, how is a tab rendered though when somebody looks at it as kind of like hex? Is it several? Is it, an, is it a character in its own right? I don't know. See, that. I think so. I mean, I've never Googled that specific question, but. I yeah, think so. it's just something I've always wondered, you know, because some uh, you put it in like tab in some very basic editors just to do mm. spaces, right? And then uh, I think one. that's the editor though that just yeah. does that automatically yeah. and just transfers it. But isn't it an important question to get answered? It definitely is. <laughs> right, just so I can check the mic's working, yeah. Andy. Um, what's your preference? Is it tabs or spaces? Uh, tabs, definitely tabs all the way. I think. Is there a reason for it? Or is just. Um, it's less presses of a button, isn't it? So. Tabs, obviously. Obviously? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what else? Otherwise you... <laughs> and I just press the tab button and hope for the best. <laughs> Sometimes it works, yeah. <laughs> Tabs all the way. Only weirdos use spaces. Well, I don't understand the difference though. Why, why would you prefer one over the other? So, th so the reason why I say tabs, and this is probably because I'm a come from a, a digital publishing document engineering type background is, is that if you put a tab in you're encoding to the computer that you want to tabulate this to a particular point whereas if you put spaces in you're actually saying I want these many spaces between it the advantage of the tab is that if you've got good software is that you could then change the layout to meet the person who's editing the code at that point's time rather than have forcing it to be whatever weird standard you're using. Tabs or spaces? Tabs or spaces? Oh, that's a difficult one, isn't it? I, so I used to use tabs and only tabs, and then I used Python a lot. And actually, I did a computer file where I committed some code to GitHub that had only tabs, and someone just put in a pull request straight away to change it all back to spaces. And I started learning after that that maybe I should just use spaces. I'm going to use Python. Uh, so I use both. <laughs> so both is, in, is in, I'm not sure that's an acceptable answer, but okay, we'll take it. All right, well, yeah, okay, if I was to choose, tabs. <laughs> Do you have a view on tabs or spaces? Tabs. Any particular reason? It looks better to me. It looks. I, I like my things spaced, so I so I can I, I get lost in clutter very easily. So I put a lot of space, uh, and tab is easier than press pressing space like six or seven times. It's just faster. So, uh, in fact, before before we start, I think I don't know if I've asked you my new sound check question. So we're going to give it a go. Uh, tabs or spaces? Tabs or spaces? Oh, I need notice of that question, Sean. Oh, that's a, oh, Lord, no. Ah, uh, 
Mm. Is it that you don't want to answer or that you don't? No, have a... I can just think of times when I would not trust the tapping mechanism or for whatever I do. But equally, there's other things where I do trust its tapping mechanism to do what I want to do, and I would do that. So the answer is, uh, it depends. I'm sorry, can't give you a better answer than that. Well, it, the thing for me was, what difference does it make? As you say, it depends on the, the tapping mechanism, right? Well, the point is that when you tab, you move to a fixed point and it doesn't matter where you are coming from, you move to the next tab. The danger with always using spaces is sometimes you have to know how many spaces to add to where you are to get where the physical equivalent is to the tab point. Whereas tab is such a nice shortcut, I don't know where the heck I am on this line, but I want the next tab. And I think that must be something to do with the reason. Tabs or spaces? Oh, tabs. Tabs or spaces. Oh, you've asked this one before. Have I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Although I would like to change my answer. Oh, you can change it, that's fine. Go for it. Um, last time I think I said spaces, but I don't actually worry about it. I just let my text editor deal with it. <laughs> oh, and how does that happen then? What, you just... Well, I think it detects if, you're indet if it's already indet indented with tabs, then it just uses oh. tabs. So. And just carries on with it. Yeah. Okay. And then, so the even more contentious question then, what's the text editor? Emacs, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite shortcut key, um, the Vulcan nerve pinch. <laughs> it, do, it does it, it does, they're both the same. Oh, okay. Windows D desktop. You, yeah. you can do really anything with it. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Oh, I don't know about favourite. Uh, they all have their pros and cons. 